Good morning. Um, and here's Reverend Sandy. Ah. Well, good morning, everyone. How wonderful to have you joining us this Sunday on Unity of Michiana's live stream service to Facebook. We're so very glad that you're joining us, whether you are from a part of this group right here in South Bend, Indiana, or whether you are joining us across the miles uh, through the wonders of technology. It is such a delight to have you. Thanks for joining us. We want to do a shout out to our youth uh, who will be joining uh, with Donalyn uh, later on today and, and all the work that she and Patty are doing uh, to engage our youth while we are on in this time of of not meeting in person. So thanks for joining us uh, today. And, and we just want to share with you that we are a diverse and, and inclusive spiritual community and we offer a positive path, a positive path to spiritual living. Our vision is a world transformed by spiritually centered people awakened to the oneness of all. And so here at Unity, we like to start our service in lighting our Christ candle. It represents to us the lighting from within of that awareness of that higher consciousness, the ever-presence of the Christ. And so please join with me now in prayer as we take a moment to breathe and to settle, to allow ourselves to be present to this moment, to open our minds and our hearts to the inflow of divine spirit that is everywhere present. And as we breathe into the light and the infinite love that is the flow of spirit, we are uplifted and we are renewed. And we know that we are joined together beyond time and space in a collective heart of caring and compassion. And so we give thanks that we can come together to learn and to grow and to make a difference. And indeed, we do so when we pray that forward this day. Amen. We are brothers, we are sisters, joined together in love. We are brothers, we are sisters, joined together in love. We are brothers, we are sisters, joined together in love. Love, 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 joined together, together in love. Love, 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 love join together, together in love. Hope you're singing along at home. We are brothers, we are sisters, join together in peace. We are sisters, we are brothers, join together in peace. We are brothers, we are sisters, joined together in joy. We are brothers, we are sisters, joined together in joy. Joy, 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 together, together in joy. Joy, 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 together in joy. Brothers, we are sisters, join together in peace. We are brothers, we are sisters, join together in peace. We are brothers, we are sisters, join together in peace. We are brothers, we are sisters, join together in peace. Peace, 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 join together. 
together in peace. Peace, 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 join together, together in peace. Thanks, everyone. We're uh, starting to use our new live streaming equipment, and so we're working out a few of the bugs, and thanks for um, being present with us through that. And, and uh, so. Technical difficulties with no audio. Okay. Is audio being streamed, or are we needing to wait a minute? Uh, I'll let play a little interlude. I'll, I'll just play a little bit. You want, would yeah. you like that? I think we've been given the thumbs up sign and so thank you everyone for your patience and we're excited to have our new cameras and new equipment but we're still getting a few of the bugs worked out so thanks so much for uh, for continuing to join with us and so I know we have another sing-along song that's coming up and and I think we're good to go Kevin you think <laughs> we good Feel this in your heart, everyone. Love is my decision. It's up to me to give of my heart. Love is my decision. No one else can tell me to stop. Once I decide to change my mind, God will show me how. Love is my decision, my decision right here. Love is my decision. 
one of Daniel Namod's songs that um, always deeply touches my heart. I can remember being back at seminary at Unity Village and having him visit and sing that uh, across the whole auditorium, and it just moves our heart in these times right now when love is an important decision for us to hold in our hearts. Oh, and so as we breathe into this moment and as we move towards our time of meditation, I would like to begin with sharing with you our publication from Unity that is called The Daily Word, and it has an inspirational message for each day. So I would like to read to you from today, Sunday, June 7th. The word for today is joy. Joy is my constant companion. I discover reasons to feel joyful every day, even in the most challenging circumstances. I begin by centering my awareness on the Christ, the divine presence within. I feel love and peace lift my heart, and possibilities for good fill my thoughts. I am joyous. I may experience joy as exuberance, delight, and wonder. Joy may also come quietly as the peaceful assurance of God's presence wherever I am, whatever I'm doing. My awareness of joy brings a glow to even the most ordinary day. As I engage wholeheartedly in all that is mine to do today, I share my joy with everyone. Through kind words, a sunny smile, and a warm welcome to everyone I meet, I radiate joy and bless the world with my positivity, happiness, and bliss. From Psalms 118.24, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. So I invite you to join with me now in moving more deeply into a time of prayer and a time of silent meditation. And I will invite you to breathe and to relax as I sound our singing bowl that vibrates at the resonance of the heart chakra of love. And so with each breath, 
that you take. Recognize this as a time to set aside the distracting thoughts of our outer world in order to truly center into the core of our being, the unity of all that is the wholeness and the oneness of universal spirit. With each breath, feel your heart opening to that inflow of healing presence. Feel your mind remembering the connectivity to all that is. Feel your very body alive with the breath of wholeness and oneness. And we let the resonance of that heart chakra toning move through us. healing and lifting us into a different state of being. A place where we recognize the activity of spirit as infinite and filled always with that intention of wholeness and the grace of love beyond judgment. Of one heart, one mind, one soul, one being. And so in these difficult times, as we take this time apart to recenter We can begin to reclaim the consciousness from which we would choose to live that is of justice, that is of compassion and caring, that is of wholeness and embracing the differences and the likenesses. And as we breathe, and as we allow healing to occur within, we know that it indeed flows without. To touch the hearts of those around us, to lift us all into a higher awareness of that which we share, a universal bond weaving us together as a tapestry of different colors, different flavors, different expressions, all unique and yet precious in their own right. And as we honor differences, as we recognize the joy of living who we are, and the joy of allowing others to live as they are. We see the beauty of the tapestry that we create with love in our hearts. Let us be a part of that tapestry of healing, of peace, of bonding together, of embracing each other. And as we pray this forward from the very depths of our being, we know that we do indeed make a difference, that we change our world, that we live from a higher place of honoring all. And so we breathe into this healing moment as we weave our tapestry together in the silence of universal spirit.
And in this time, as we let our tears flow in order to heal, as we embrace each other and allow ourselves to be lifted up, we know that together we heal. And we take a moment now to surround our prayer box in light, knowing that requests have been placed within it, and to know that at any time you may send in a request to the office, and we will place it here in our prayer box. And so collectively, we hold all people everywhere in a consciousness of justice and peace and healing love. We hold all the prayer requests within this prayer box in that similar light as we flow in that higher order of God's universal oneness. And so we speak aloud the names of friends, relatives, situations, people we would especially bless at this time. All people, all friends, all nations everywhere, may we hold us all in the light of peace and justice and love. We hold unity of Michiana in the grace of that expression. We hold Unity Worldwide Ministries and Unity World Headquarters in a consciousness of bringing light into the world. And I would especially hold my beloved David, my sister and her husband, Vicki and Evan, Isabel Wallop, Anne and Dale Curry. Our cities, our countries, all people everywhere, you are held in light and in love. And we pray this forward, and so it is. Amen. There's always a lot of balls to juggle. Um, so this, this is kind of like an old favorite. Um, everyone likes it when I sing it. And I scream it a little, so that suits my voice. Won't you lighten my load? An empty heart is the heaviest way to hold. No, come lighten my load. Who do you love? Who do you love? Ask yourself, be yourself. Every love is one. Who do you love? Who do you love? Free yourself, every love is one love, love, come light my load, love, come light my load. Unsung, 
love me find the love Love come like my love Who do you love? Do you love? Ask yourself, be yourself Every love is one Who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Ask yourself, be yourself Every love is one love Please take away my doubt Please take away my fears Please take away my foolish pride Open up my hands Open my arms Open my eyes Open my heart up wide Revolution's on the inside Ask yourself, be yourself, every love is one. Who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Ask yourself, be yourself, every love is one. Love. Everyone is one love. Every love is one love. Everyone is one love. We love is one love. Ooh. Wow, John, thank you. Ah, we take a moment to breathe. In times that are so challenging, it is an apropos question. Who do you love? My talk title for today, Love's Healing Power, Embracing Justice for All. In light of <clears throat> the challenges and difficulties of the past week, the past several weeks in our world, as we take a moment to to connect together and to recognize to recognize these universal wake up calls that we receive and to be willing to be aware of them and to acknowledge them and right now with current injustices that are so in the forefront. We feel that collective pain of an awareness that we have much yet to heal in our human experience. From the Bible in scripture, it's from Jeremiah 22, 3, it says, Thus says the Lord, act with justice and righteousness, right useness, and deliver from the hand of the oppressor anyone who has been robbed, and do no wrong or violence. Friends, we have experienced a wake-up call, and it is important for us to acknowledge the collective pain we feel when we see such egregious injustice being done. And I think it's important for us to recognize also the egregious injustice throughout our world, whether it's due to race or sex, or creed, or, or our sexual orientation, or our children, our women, those in seeming poverty. 
Friends, this is a wake-up call for us, not for just one cause, but for the cause of all. This calls us to be aware of are we a part of the problem or are we part of the solution? Tony Robbins, a a speaker and keynote speaker, he says, identify your problems but give your power and energy to solutions. So friends, I'd really like us to take a look at a tendency that we have to keep our eyes focused on the problem with the news and the media running pictures all the time that are very emotional and that tear at our hearts. And yet to recognize that our greater and higher power lies in once having recognized and acknowledged that call to awareness, we must now shift our focus onto the solution. Because change, friends, change is needed. Change is needed across the board for all injustice. And this allows us to be aware and to begin making a difference as we shift out of focusing on the problem which keeps us immersed in blame and anger and and continued upset and judgment. And we don't even realize that we're on that hamster wheel that goes around and around and around. And friends, that's not the solution. The solution is in a willingness to shift our own consciousness. Martin Luther King Jr. and also, I have two quotes, um, the one that has L.R. Nost on it also. Thank you, Susan, I appreciate that. Martin Luther King says, returning hate for hate multiplies hate. Adding deeper darkness to a night already devoid of stars. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love, only love can do that. And L.R. Nost, who is a social justice activist for children, she says, until our world decides that every human matters, that everyone has a right to food and safety and freedom and health care and equality, It is the obligation of those privileged to have food and safety and freedom and health care and equality to fight tirelessly for those who do not. For those who do not, friends. This is the call to awareness that we have received. That we must begin to shift to change to make a difference. To begin focusing on the solutions rather on the hatreds that stem more hatreds, that fuel riots, that fuel separation. And to begin shifting into that consciousness of fasting, of fasting, from old prejudices, old angers, old belief systems that we may carry sometimes even unconsciously. In scripture from Isaiah 58.6, it says, Is not this the kind of fasting I have chosen? To loose the chains of injustice and untie, untie the cords of the yoke 
to set the oppressed free and to break every yoke. Friends, this is a time when we are called not to be angry. Well, it allows us to time to be angry because that is right and just. It's a matter of shifting that anger, though, into a place of healing. So it is only a part of our human nature and right that we begin to feel those pains that, that, that fuel those angers, and yet it is up to us to be willing to shift, to fast from, to fast from all of the news broadcasts and all the, the things that bring up those emotions, to hold them in our hearts, to recognize them, but then to choose to heal them. And we have seen over time, over the last week, the difference between honest protesting, honest calling attention to, calling to action, versus rioting. And we have seen the protesters and the police working together in a way that we have not seen before in order to have an acknowledgement of egregious wrongs that occurred, yet not continuing to focus on the problem, but shifting our consciousness to an awareness of a solution. We manifest justice for all through consciously embracing love's healing power, friends. We are called to action right now in a way we never have been before. In a way where we can breathe into a recognition of what is ours to do and to know that healing does not occur outside of us, friends. Healing begins within our own consciousness for the consciousness we carry, the beliefs, the past hatreds, the past prejudices, the past angers that are a part of our consciousness, our own consciousness, are what go forth to create the collective consciousness. And we are invited right now, friends, to manifest justice for all through consciously embracing love's healing power. In scripture from Micah 6, 8, And what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? I don't know how many of you can see the picture here, and I know many of you have seen similar pictures of people laying down arms, bowing down on their knees, fist bumping across barriers, in a recognition, friends, that we are all in this together. And when we experience egregious injustice, whether it is racial, whether it is due to sex, whether it is due to creed or sexual orientation. To pause for a moment to see where within us we still carry angers in beliefs in them against us, in separation. Because as we continue to carry that consciousness within us, it becomes exhibited in our outer world. In Ephesians 4, 31 and 32, it says, Put away from you all bitterness and wrath and anger and wrangling and slander, together with all malice, and to be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another. Friends, we are being called right here and right now, not to point the finger at anyone else and blame 
someone outside of ourselves, but to be willing friends to wake up to our own consciousness, to be willing to move into the heart of our being that is a heart of love, not, not of necessarily emotional outer love, but is the very foundation, the basis of who we are in the ultimate infinite presence of that which we would call the breath of life or God or Yahweh or loving spirit. And as we begin to recognize within us the places that separate, the places that judge, the places that make wrong of others outside as well as of ourselves, we see how we continue the belief in separatism. We continue that belief in judgment. Cheryl uh, Strayed, who um, is a keynote speaker and an author, she says, you will learn a lot about yourself if you stretch in the direction of goodness, of bigness, of kindness, of forgiveness, of emotional bravery. She says, be a warrior for love. Friends, right now we are being called to be warriors for love. To know that we are on an evolutionary spiral of consciousness that continues to invite us to grow. To shift out of that consciousness of separateness of them against us. Into a recognition that though we may be different, we can honor our own uniqueness, and allow each other to live into their uniqueness, their differences. We may not understand them, we may not agree with them, and we don't need to. It is simply about living our own truth and centering in the heart of our being that is the heart of God that invites us to love us just as we are and just as we are becoming. That invites us into a place of healing, into a place of acceptance, into a place of reaching across lines to embrace each other and to recognize that we are a part of a greater wholeness. Unity Worldwide Ministries issued a prayer for the wounded heart of humanity. It has been posted on our Facebook and it has been posted on Unity Worldwide Ministries Facebook. I would like to share that prayer with you now. You may close your eyes, you may keep your eyes open, you may open your hearts to feel the flow of the truth of the beauty of these words. We call upon God's love in this important moment knowing that divine love is the greatest power in the universe. We pray for the wounded heart of humanity as we grieve, rage, cry, and despair over injustice and inequity. May divine love enfold and comfort everyone who is hurting. May divine wisdom guide each person and institution in taking inspired action, inspired action to ensure that all are celebrated for their inherent goodness as a part of God's creation. May we remain resolute in walking the course of human rights and social justice for all. We pray this in the spirit of unity, love, and oneness. Amen. And so as we continue to breathe forward, friends, in this time of experiencing such a major wake-up call, we are invited to be a part of the healing to embrace within us the places that are still dark, that still feel separate, that still judge, 
that still feel the angers and the fears. It is ours to invite the light of that living presence of God to move in and through us and to heal us and to invite us forward a step at a time to take the actions necessary within our own small community, within our own households, and then out into the world for justice for all. And I would like to close with a, a, a couple of quotes. These are all from Martin Luther King. They're from a couple of his sermons dating back to 1957 and 1967. And in one he says, Power at its best is love, implementing the demands of justice. And justice at its best is power correcting everything that stands against love. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. That means injustice that we hold within us is a threat to justice out in our world. He goes on to say, we must discover the power of love, the redemptive power of love. And when we discover that, we will be able to make of this old world a new world. Love is the only way. I invite you to breathe into that space of healing love and to live from that in the days to come as we open ourselves to finding solutions and taking actions that support justice and equality for all. Thank you, everyone. And now as we come to a close of the message, it is at that time where I invite us all to hold in consciousness a sense of abundance and prosperity and to know that we are a part of creating that together. And we appreciate the donations, the love offerings that you send that allow us to keep our doors open, that allow us to support unity worldwide to bring about new ideas, to bring about new choices and new awareness. And so you have a couple of options if you would care to contribute. You can uh, go on your cell phone to 779, you text 77977, and you enter UOMSC, the initials, and that will take you into a platform where you can create a donation either one time or you can create an ongoing donation. And once you have set that up, then any time you go back, you can easily access that option. Or you can also go onto our website at unitymichiana.org. And so what I would invite you to do is to hold your love offering in whatever prayerful way you are giving that right now and join with me in our offertory affirmation. I am a joyful recipient of God's bountiful blessings, and with a grateful heart, I give freely in return. And so we give thanks indeed for these gifts that go forth in this universal abundant universe to bless us all, to carry us forward 
into highest good. And so we say thank you, God, in your name. Amen. So I'll uh, quickly share with you a few of our um, happenings and events. We are still suspended on in-person services at this time, yet we are working towards reopening, hopefully by the end of June. And we will be sending out, we will be mailing to everyone who are, is on our mailing list uh, a, a large postcard, one of those great uh, bright green ones that, that you're all used to receiving uh, that will tell you the actual date. It will tell you the guidelines, the ways we have set up to be in compliance um, with, with social distancing at this time. And we want to let you know that there'll be several ways that you can participate. Many of you may choose to continue to stay home. We will continue to live stream for you. Some of you may choose to come and sit in our parking lot with uh, a lawn chair or um, in your car, and you can live stream from there. Some of you may choose to come and be here in the sanctuary and be a part of, of us here. So just know that you will have many options and that we'll, we will be encouraging uh, actions that will support us all in remaining healthy, well, and whole. Our Sunday services uh, from Facebook Live, they do remain on a Facebook, and then they are also posted to our website. So you can visit um, www.michiana.org, uh, Unity Michiana, sorry, .org, and, and you can go and you can view those. They're archives, so you can go back and, and look at any of them. You can also share those with a friend. Uh, we are on YouTube, so you can look it up on YouTube and and uh, view us. I, I was talking with uh, someone um, in the Chicago area or Illinois that has been watching that way. So um, please feel free to do that. And on your own Facebook, share the video so that we can get the word out to others that they can join us also. Our Wednesday night discussion and sharing group is continuing to meet. Uh, we meet by uh, a Zoom video call, so we meet online, and uh, if you would care to be a part of that, and we do not have your email, you would need to contact our office and give Susan your email so that we can include you in the link that gets emailed out on Wednesday morning, and you can join with us as we explore these interesting times, as we share with each other, as we lift each other up. So uh, plan to be uh, in on that group uh, 6.30 Wednesday evenings. There is also a um, URC, a uh, United Religious Community webcast that is this afternoon, Sunday, June 7th um, at 1.30. And if you would care to be a part of that webcast to send your light and your love through that time, uh, you, you may check that out. And Unity Worldwide Ministries had had a um, a connection space call embracing our common humanity, supporting healing and justice that was supposed to be this last Thursday and it got postponed to uh, next Thursday, June 11th at 2 p.m. So uh, details are on Unity Worldwide Ministries website. So please uh, check that out if you would care to be a part of this movement of moving and changing and growing forward. So I will just ask you in closing, how will you choose to be today? Will you choose to be a part of facing anger with anger, fear with fear and judgment with judgment back, or will you choose to release and to let go and to allow the light of love to heal and bless? Will you focus on differences in ways that separate us or in ways that heal us and bring us together as a greater whole through a consciousness of love? Will you choose today to stand for justice for all and let your light and your love be a beacon in the world? So will you join with me now as we sing our peace song and Say our prayer for protection. Oh, the 
sun and the wind and rain bring everything we need. Father, sky above, Mother, earth beneath, peace on earth, peace on earth, peace on earth. Brothers all, all the world around, we lift our voices high in one joyous sound. Peace on earth, peace on earth, peace on earth, peace on earth. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is. And all is well. And so it is. And so we let it be. Thank you, everyone.